In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why your TikTok videos can't hit above the 200 view phase. And then I'm also gonna give you solutions to help you fix that so you can actually see real growth going into 2024 on TikTok. And to prove it's not just luck, I gave these tips to my new student and he actually generated over 40,000 followers and 8 million views off of one post. He was not too long ago just like you, only hitting 200 views on every single account. It was only until he started this new account using the exact tips I'm about to give you that he saw drastic success. Whether you're a personal brand or a faceless account, this video is for you. Make sure to stick around till the end because I'm gonna be giving you one last tip that is going to make or break your success on TikTok in 2024. But really quick, before I get into the video, I just launched Creator Access. I've personally generated over 300 million views on social media in the past seven years. And I'm releasing everything I know about growing a successful social media account on TikTok from scratch. Many students have seen great success through the community, so if you guys wanna join, click the link in the description. All right, to explain a little bit better about what I'm gonna talk about, I have to cover what causes a video to get pushed and not to get pushed. I'm gonna quickly break down how the algorithm works. I've already covered it in two previous videos, so I'm gonna take a minute to explain this. So for anyone new here, you'll definitely gain value from this. There are three phases on TikTok. The seeding phase, which is around 200 to 1,000 views, probably where you're at right now. And then the expansion phase, which is from 5,000 to 10,000 views. And then the viral phase, which is anything above 100,000 views. Within each phase, TikTok will gain data from your post and determine which ones are the highest performing posts. This means if you have a higher retention and engagement than other posts, your video will then get pushed to the next phase to then compete with other posts. Most of you think likes matter, but in reality, the only thing that you really need to focus on is retaining the viewer. I'm sure if you look at most of your graphs for retention, they probably drop off after one to two seconds if you have around 200 views. So the first thing I wanna give you to help you improve on your account is pretty much just helping the algorithm know who your content is for. When you first start a TikTok account, the algorithm has no clue who you are or who your content is for. So you need to feed it information to better understand who to push it to. I'm sure you've seen many accounts get away without having hashtags or even a caption, but this is because the algorithm already knows who they are. That's why all these bigger creators can get away with it. But because you're a new account, you can't get away with it. So what I like to do is make sure the caption actually relates to the video using certain keywords that are related to your niche. Hashtags, you wanna have at least three hashtags that explain your video the best it can. If I was you, I would go onto accounts inside of your niche that you're posting in and then find the hashtags that they're using and then use those on your videos to start out. Once you train the algorithm to understand who you are and what your content is about, it'll be a lot easier to actually reach the right audience and actually retain the viewer. Because a lot of accounts when they first start out are reaching the completely different audience than what they're trying to reach. So that's why the retention graph will drop right away, causing a failed video. The second tip I'm going to give you is don't overpost. Give TikTok some time to breathe, especially when you're starting your account. I've talked about this in previous videos, but when you first start an account, you wanna warm up the account. For the first 24 hours, you will engage with accounts inside of your niche so that you actually seem like a human and not a bot. But after those 24 hours, post once a day for a whole week. And then after that, you can ramp it up to two to three times a day. Obviously there's people posting way more than that or even less than that, only once a week. But pick a schedule that you can stay consistent with. TikTok likes consistency and they reward consistent creators. So just stay consistent. But like I said, don't overpost in the beginning because your account will be limited and TikTok doesn't like spammy creators. Third tip to improve is your hooks. Most of you probably if 200 views have bad hooks, just to put it bluntly. Most of the time to learn how to create a good hook for your niche, it's through trial and error. But to help you get the ideas flowing, I'm gonna give you four different types of hooks. The first is video effects. And this is pretty much in the first second of the video. This is when the camera will shake or something will happen in the initial second. This is just to help assist capturing attention while people are scrolling mindlessly. The next is a spoken hook. This is pretty much the first three seconds of the video where something is being said. In this, you wanna spark controversy, obviously very lightly, you don't wanna go overboard or you're gonna get community guideline strikes. So the guy saw the clip coming, but his friends did not. Does anyone else have a friend that is simultaneously the smartest and the dumbest person in the world? But controversy is one of the ways that you can go about doing this. But having the spoken hook that is actually gonna catch people off guard will not only help capture attention, but will increase shares and comments. And lastly is visual hooks. 
This is a great way to capture attention. Obviously within the first few seconds of the video, you want to have an image or something as the first video that will spark controversy or people will second guess what they just saw or it's just interesting so they'll continue to watch. All right, as I'm editing the video, I realized I missed one of the most crucial hooks, which is sound effects. These are pretty much the swooshes or the dings in the beginning. On a lot of faceless accounts, this is a very popular way to hook attention. You can pretty much incorporate it anywhere throughout the video. Whether you want to do a follower CTA halfway through the video, you can just put a ding sound effect. Or in the beginning with the video effect transition in the very beginning, you can pair that with a sound effect. And this will make for a great hook. I would definitely try it out and see how it works for you. So as you can see, the first few seconds of the video, there's so many ways to go about it. And obviously look in other accounts inside of your niche that are high performers and see what they're doing. Because if they're getting millions of views, there's a reason for it. Because they know what hooks work inside of that niche. It's not bad to copy others. Obviously take it and then obviously learn from it and see why it works so well and then find variations that work for you. One of the last tips I'm going to give you is trying a new account. If you've gone through everything I said and really refined and tried your best for at least two to three weeks and you still don't see any success, then it might be that your account is limited. Sometimes accounts on TikTok aren't favored. It's very rare, but it does happen that accounts just won't get pushed or reach the right audience right off the bat. So what I like to say is go through everything I said and try it out. And if it doesn't work after two to three weeks, then start a new account and then start right off the bat with everything I just said all the way. There's nothing wrong with starting off with a fresh, clean account. But obviously don't just keep creating new accounts. At least stick to a two to three week period on the account you're on. But if you don't have a post over 5,000 views on that account, then I would completely start over. And my last tip that is literally going to make or break your success on TikTok is consistency. I know you've heard it a million times, but the reason all of these people that you look up to or you see on social media that are crushing it that you want to also emulate, they went through a period of obstacles and a down bad phase, which you might also be in right now. The thing that brought them out of it was staying consistent. Everything in life, whether you're going to the gym, whether you're starting a new business, it all requires consistency. Over time, your efforts will compound and you will see success. But if you quit, you will never see success. It's pretty simple, but a lot of people will quit right before they make it. And that's with everything in life. So I hope you can stay consistent with something and start to see your success compound over time because it will work out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and even comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see in the future. This was a highly requested video, so I'm glad that I could make it and hopefully help some of you. But like I said, if you have any deep burning questions on growing on social media and TikTok, then definitely comment them down below and I'll make a video on it. With that being said, if you guys wanna join the Creator Access community, click the link in the description and I'll see you guys in there. In the meantime, you can watch this video right here, teaching you exactly how to create a viral video, giving you my exact blueprint. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.